What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, reliable AMT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and use code BUGS for 5% off checkout. Links down below in the description. Hit them up right now. What's good you two? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. Hey guys, today we're talking about the market, talking about what is going on in NBA 2K21 My Team. Before we get into the video guys, smash that like button, drop the sub if you are new, and comment down below. You will qualify for an MT giveaway if you do do those things. In this video, we go over the market. Let me know what you guys think about anything of the market, any snipe tips, anything you gotta let me know what you're going on, what how you're making MT, what's going on, any market talk questions. I will answer every single question on this video. We need to grow as a channel. I gotta show love. I show love regardless for as many as long as I've been on this channel. Not only that, man. I'm selling MT, buying MT. If you need MT, hit me up on PS4, Xbox, grinding services. Hit me up. I got all the plugs. But here we go. We are gonna get right into this, man. We have been talking about the amethyst filter on how fire and low key this filter is, and right there we made about. 5k clean 4k clean off this larry cannon uh, or canone whatever his name is um i've been talking about some other some little snipe filters man and to be honest the amethyst snipe filters have been very nice to me they haven't treated me nice so we're gonna go over them very quickly we are gonna go over how good these amethyst filters are and how you can make like four to five thousand mt per car so here we go man starting off with the amethyst filter like i said got larry cannon for around eight thousand mt just sold them for 14.9 so if you do the math uh that's about a 6k profit so 15k minus 2 which is 13k i made about 5k profit clean off larry Kinnon, and i have another one right here for 14,800. bought a bailey howell boston richard hamilton's patty mills dino rogers and thoroughs were packs Mal Ginobili been investing in him. Got him for dirt cheap over the weekend. Same with Moses Malone. Got him for dirt cheap again. Just got Greg Oden for dirt cheap. So we're making some investments out here. Some pretty solid investments that we definitely should be doing. Um, we're going to go over a couple snipe filters. I'm going to go over this one because this one's sus as hell. It's shooting guard, pink diamond, minimum buyout. And why is this? Because I noticed one thing. I just saw Pete Maravich at a buyout. And honestly, with a shoe for 100k, if I had MT, I would buy that. But that's a very good price for Pete Maravich. And honestly, looking at his filter, I think somebody might post up an even cheaper Pete Maravich. It only makes sense because people want to sell their cards quick. But at 100k MT, Pete Maravich could do everything. He's going to be your shooter. He's going to shoot from range. I know he can't play defense. But if you need offense, if you're trying to run unlimited, you're trying to win, Pete Maravich is the man. Another thing I've noticed, 81k for Manu Ginobili, an investment in the idol set, which is going to equal a Galaxy Opal. We're going to get idols this week, 110% guarantee. It's probably a great time to pick up Manu. It has to be a great time to pick up Manu, especially at this price. After this, 81k goes to 87, 89, 89 again, and then pretty much after that, 95k plus, and you know he will rise. It happens every week. He drops every week, and then he just rises right away. So definitely continuously check out this pink diamond shooting guard filter uh we're gonna show you this filter man this one went crazy over the weekend since everybody was spamming the hell out of packs it was crazy on this weekend but here we go man Thirteen thousand out of this 20 man this is for the budget ballers in my opinion not even budget ballers it just makes mt so much faster this weekend i got a kd for 9k solo for 14k right there is about a 2500 to 3000 mt profit which takes you about five games of tto online to actually make that mt so in my opinion if you're making 2500 per snipe it really does add up 10 snipes is 25k if you make 25k a day in 10 days you get 250k mt for free so if you do the math you're making good MT, man. This is exactly how. It's sniping. There's no other way to make MT than sniping. Don't ask me for other methods. It's all sniping. It's all investing. That's the only way to work the market. There is no other way to work the market. I'm going to go over this filter now. Moses Malone, someone I invested in. Why did I invest in? He's not a good investment. Well, here's my theory. There's like none on the market, and he's actually a very good center. Um... Like, he's a very good center. He can shoot the mid-range. He can shoot the three. He's not super slow. He's not super slow at all. He has an 84 speed at center. He is a little short, but here's my theory. I scooped him up for 51K or 49K, something like that. Yeah, he's only 57K right now, but I promise you, once this sells, this sells, and this sells, he's right back up to 80K. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to post my Moses Malone for around 79,900. And I'm just going to hope he sells because if he sells, I'm going to make a very, very, very good amount of MT. And honestly, I do have faith he will eventually sell for that value. Another filter that I'm going to show you guys in this video is Greg Oden or Diamond Freaking Cheapest Filter. If you guys listen to me, if you guys listen to the David West investment, that investment was absolutely amazing. He was like 25K on that Saturday. He is now 37K. And I told you guys to invest because I had beliefs in him that his card is actually good. So what happened was his value went up a ton. And if you guys invest in him, you're going to make 8 to 10K per card. Um, some other card I just invested in is Greg Oden. Uh, he is going for around 34K. And that's the one I actually did just get, I believe. No, he's going for around 34K. I got mine with a shoe. So I'm actually going to put him up for around 40K MT. And hopefully he does sell. Because a shoe with post defense, rebounding, and athleticism should boost his value up just a little bit more. So I can make around 4 to 5K MT. Another tip for when you guys work the market is literally look for the shoes. Like if you're sniping diamond cheapest and you see a shoe on one and it's a tiny bit pricier, just buy it, especially if it's badged out too. You got to know badges. You got to know market. That's the only thing I can say that's good about this 2K. Sniping is a little different this year because you could not get a snipe, but you also can get a snipe because of the badges and the, the shoes. Trust me when I say this. 10,300. Rashad, I'm bought. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, that was a good snipe right there. That was definitely a good snipe. I think Jamal Moshburn for 11K is a pretty good snipe too. Not going to lie, but... Oof, there's just so much going on guys in 2k it's honestly like crazy yeah that was a snipe for jamal so literally what you guys want to be doing right now is anything you guys want there is nothing you should be sniping there's nothing you should be doing it's just working the market as hard as you can that is my best advice you just can't give up on the market grind that is how you're gonna make mt that is the only way to make mt and honestly i am going to like try to stay away from the mark the xp grind a little bit more i'm gonna do it slowly guys i'm actually ahead of the game in the first three weeks i'm already past what you guys should be at you should be at 75k xp at least i'm at 75k xp i could chill out a little bit i'm gonna probably finish the t-max solos today the stoudemire's and get sharia rahif that's about 6,000 something MT today. So I will definitely be trying to do that. I want to get rid of Tracy McGrady. His value is also going up big time. So let's look at Mr. Tracy McGrady's value right now. He's There's only there's only like a couple. There's not a lot on the market. If you guys did invest in T-Mac, try to sell them all. 253K with 15 minutes left. I did get mine for around 300K. But I think his price does rise up in value. So I might keep him for a little while. I might sell them. I'm not totally sure. Here's another tip to make MT, guys. You got to look over your badges in the collection. There is a lot of very expensive badges, like bronze badges, gold badges, silver badges. Any badge, they're going to go for a lot. Deep Fades going for 1400 These cards were all from PAX. I literally, I literally spammed the hell out of PAX this weekend. I know you guys probably did too. So you probably have some badges in your collection. I know a lot of people don't even know what badges are. Like, people don't even know, like value of some of these badges so if you want go in your collection see what's going on definitely worth checking out some of these badges man um i have so much so many badges i'm gonna try to sell some get some extra mt together because as you guys do know i did spam packs and here's another tip guys another amazing snipe filter is this new brandon clark because they did just drop a solo for him for 600 xp and it's just a double double so if you guys want man this filter right here is incredible he's going for around eight thousand i believe maybe nine thousand so brandon clark nine thousand mt this filter right here should make you lots of mt if you are patient there should be a couple snipes some people might even throw them over 500 mt and you can make a 9k snipe uh 500 mt snipe 9k profit so other than that, man, that is all we got for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any market talk questions, any market questions at all, let me know down below. I got you guys. Have a good one. Peace. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure you hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up right now.